Hey guys, I'm back, and although this box doesn't say it, it it's Battle Box Day, and it is a, it's a long box, look at it. It's a pretty big Battle Box. So, exciting, huh? Yeah. We're just gonna get right into it. Oh, look at that. That makes it easy. Interesting stuff going on. Um, Mission 40 for June 2018 is the Sniper Box. Be honest, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this. Um, but it could be some cool stuff. So, here's all the stuff. It's a cool rifle on the back, long range shooting. Okay, looks like almost all the gear matches this in this box too, which is pretty cool. Now, this actually, can go very well with a project that I have in progress right now, now that I think about it, which is pretty cool. Uh, something that you guys are all gonna see, um, kind of a restoration project. Uh, it's, it's it, like I said, in progress is not done, but let's, let's get back to the box. So, we are unboxing, and I think there's more stuff under this guy right here, maybe. Hopefully, we'll see. I don't know. We're unboxing the Pro Plus here, right? So the big difference between the Pro Plus and the Pro is that it includes the knife of the month. So the Pro Plus gives us everything that comes in the basic, the advanced, and the Pro, and then our knife of the month. Um, I'll go in order here, and we'll go down through the box. As we go through here, we'll start with the basic box. So the basic box is going to cost you $24.99 a month. This month, it has an MSRP value of 63.43, starting with Long Range Shooting Handbook, uh, valued at 24.95. And here's the Long Range Shooting Handbook, a beginner's guide to precision rifle shooting. A portion of the proceeds of the book uh, go to military charities, the Sua Sponte Foundation. If you're not familiar with Sua Sponte, that's a ranger thing, that motto anyway. And then the Special Operations Warrior Foundation. This is a fairly big book, all about long-range shooting. And I I want to say this author is, um, like, again, I don't know the author, I don't know the book, just look at the way he sets up his chapters, it's very military in nature, 10.2.4, 10.2.5, stuff like that. Um, so this is probably a pretty good book. Now, I'm fortunate that I have two long-range shooting experts uh, in my life to help me out with stuff like this. Um, if this is stuff that I'm interested in. So, both Darren, my father-in-law, and my father. Lots of experience, long-range shooting, and the word sniping comes into play. Cool. Um, I'd love to get their both their takes on this book and what they think of it. I find that a book like this, though, has to be paired with actual experience. So it's not like you're going to read this book and you're going to suddenly be an expert. Um, it's just like, you know, reading a survival book, uh, reading, you know, does it make you an expert you need to put the skills into practice to really be good at them you know uh, a car repair read the book you know sure you can read about it but you know until you actually put hands on it so um so you can take to the range the longest range shot i've ever made is 300 meters and that's because they made me do it in basic and i got in a lot of trouble when i had to uh, spout off all the information and drill sergeant said what's the max effective range of your rifle and i thought i was being a, a smart ass and I said, 250 meters. And uh, he gave me a smack upside the head. And I said, but that's as far as I can see, Drill Sergeant. I'm not hitting anything past that. Yeah, no, that was not the correct answer. Uh, 800 meters for an area target, 550 meters for a point target. It was the correct answer he was looking for at that point. But anyway, that's, you know, good old basic training stories. Don't be a smart ass in basic training. It never works out well for you. Anyway, um, interesting book. I'm not sure what pile I want to put it in, though, because... You know, until I read it, I don't know, but there you go. So, let's look for the modern Spartan Systems Spartan Accuracy Grease. 1150. 1150. Wow. Um, that's not a lot of stuff for 1150, is it? Uh, it smells like CLP. You guys know I smell stuff. Mmm instantly brings back memories. I'm not sure how long this lasts or how much you use, but for 1150, I would hope that this is just a little dabble-do-you type stuff. 
Um, and that's all it takes, you know, in this little, this little tub lasts you quite a, a while. I've heard good things about Spartan. Um, I, you know, they have oil that I've used, not on a gun, but on knife parts. And it's worked out pretty well. So, again, I don't know what pile I want to put it in right now. I just, I just don't know. Um, but 1150, you know, for this, I'm hoping, like I said, I'm hoping this is the kind of thing where you take just a tiny little, you know, dap and put it on, and that's that's good to go. Along with that comes a coupon code to use to get a 10% discount, Spartan Systems. So, again, you know, I I don't want to say I like it, I don't like it. Um, I like anything that keeps a weapon firing nice and clean, um, that keeps it optimized. Now, if this little thing has, you know, a good long-lasting um, ability. If this at 1150 lasts you a good long time, that's cool. If this at 1150, you know, you use up, if you're an avid shooter and you go shooting like, you know, once, twice a week at the range and this goes quick, you know, I, I, I'm not sure, but um, these items, I just... Right now, I, I can't decide. So they're gonna be in the limbo pile. Aiden invented the limbo pile. Last time we did an unboxing, uh, they're gonna be in there. Next, let's look for the rifle cheek rest with ammo and admin pouch for $13.99. I think I saw that before, and I believe that would be this guy right here. Well, this looks like a one size fits most item. Put it on the uh, stock of your particular firearm. Um, it's got a nice padded part here. I can see it. Actually, cool. So you can take this part apart right here if you wanted. I just got some delicious grease on my hands because I forgot where I put that part. Oh, look at that. And you can actually change the amount of padding that goes in there, too. So this is nice. Customizable. I'm all in favor of that. And that guy just tucks in nicely right there. It's an unboxing I guess I should have done in the shop, so I had a multitude of rifles available um, just to try it out and fit it on. Looks like this would hold a little shooter's log if you wanted to, or a small right-in-the-rain notebook would, would fit in that well. So we had a little bit of weather outside, which pushed me inside, which worked because it made me say, let me just go get the thing. So this is not exactly the kind of stock that this was designed for, but you can see here that it fits pretty nicely. Um, give you a good cheek rest, which we talked about being adjustable for whatever you know you particularly want. You've got ammunition on the sides. You also have your little admin book uh, cover. So whatever needs to go in there, tools, um, book, whatever. Now here's what I figured out, you know, and I didn't see initially as I was looking at it outside, these things are swappable and removable. So whether you shoot left or right or whatever side you want these to be on, you can switch them around. You can also just take them off and if you have any other Velcro type items you want to put on there, um, you can put them. One of the things I like about the um, Coyote slash tan color gear too uh, and I know this from experience from from dying this if you're not sure what your what your customers are going to like in terms of, of color for nylon stuff this color takes dye really really well so I have very successfully dyed exactly this shade um, really good OD green um, a kind of a little darker than foliage but it, do, it does foliage black really easily so uh, in this box even though it's all uh, the color is tan which is a, a good multi-use color for a lot of things. The capability is there for anybody to very easily turn this into an OD, a lighter green, um, a darker tan, a black. Even if you know if you want to get kind of swifty about it, you could do a camouflage color on this on this too. So you're not just stuck to the to the tan color that they sent out. So moving on from the cheek rest with ammunition pouts, we've got a shooting rifle rest for twelve ninety nine. So thirteen ninety nine, I think, is a pretty good price, by the way for all the versatility that that cheek rest gives you. Uh, the shooting rifle rest, oddly enough, the one color that doesn't match everything else. Um, but, so, shooting rifle rest. Hi. I know I'm weird about smells. This thing smells 
This thing smells funny. It smells some kind of food. But anyway, okay, so here's your shooting support. Um, there you go. Very simple. Does what it's supposed to do. Supports your rifle so that your arms don't get tired. Can really increase your accuracy by minimizing the amount that your body, you know, is going to wiggle holding that front end of the rifle. It moves around, you know, you can change the supports to change the height a bit, depending on how it is that you want to shoot. It's definitely something good to have. Uh, and it's light, it's, it's heavy enough to support that rifle and heavy enough to hold it there, but light enough that it's not, I mean, it's not feathery weight here, but it's, it's, it's a good, decent weight. You can easily, if you're gonna be, again, I'm not a big hunter and I'm not gonna pretend I am. I'm not gonna bullshit you guys. So I don't know if you would take this on a hunt with you, but if you were, you could put it in a pack or something and it really wouldn't take up much weight and it wouldn't take up a lot of room. And you know, if you wanted to support your rifle, just waiting for the right game to come along or just support it for a good long distance shot, this would work. So this would be in the Leica pile. So we've got this guy right here in the Leica pile. We've got this in the Leica pile and we have these two items kind of in the limbo pile because I don't know what to do with them right now. I'm not sure. But let's keep moving on. Oh, actually, that is the end of the basic box. So at the end of the basic box, we've got our two kind of limbo, I'm not sure where I'm going to put them right now, items that are two like it items. Let's move into the advanced box, which costs $49.99 a month. This month has an MSRP of $118.41. Real Avid Gun Cleaning Tool for $24.99. And I almost bought something from Real Avid once on my own. I think BattleBox once upon a time had a gun cleaning box, or maybe it was another box, but they included something from Real Avid that looked actually really cool. So here's stuff that comes in it, and I'm going to show you everything that's in here anyway. So 18 of the most common gun tools. That feels nice. That's a good grip right there. The rubberized parts of this, nice grip. I'm not sure if this is aluminum or steel. It feels aluminum because it's pretty lightweight, but nicely made. So opening up on the top here, you've got some small bit drivers, which are cool. And I, you know, you can get screwdriver sets with a lot of these size. These are the 3 16th ones, not the one quarter size. Um, and magnetic, so they fit right in there. So if there is um, some common screw sizes that you need for your particular rifle or, you know, whatever firearm that you're going to carry around, you can keep them right in there. And that's pretty secure, nifty. Down at this end, we start with, let's see. Well, you know, we'll just bring them all out. So you've got a, uh, a stainless pin punch. You'll notice like you have to look real carefully. It looks pointy, it's blunted on the end. So for example, um, uh, take down the AR, you've got your takedown pins just to give them a good punch out or something like that or, or anything really that you need to punch those pins out. You've got that right there. You've got a 420 steel claw blade, which, you know, you can use for whatever purposes you need while you're using the tool. You've got a choke tube wrench for using your most common size shotguns. Torx wrench up there. Two more Torx wrenches down here. And then some Allen wrenches. Um, they say, you know, some of the most common ones you need for weapons maintenance. So a nice little tool. I would like to put it in action, maybe bring it to the shop. I'd like to put this in Darren's hands and ask him what he thinks of it and see how this, uh, you know, affects his day doing gunsmithing and, and maintenance there and see how useful it is for him. I like it, though. I think j just for general maintenance, um, this is cool. Yeah, you're limited on the Allen wrenches and the Torx wrenches here, but remember, you can always, if there's something special you need to carry, you can put them in here and good to go. Now, the MSRP on this, again, was $24.99. I think that's fair. You know, it's a specialized gun maintenance tool. They're going to be a little bit expensive. Also, inside, you get um, a little thing about Real Avid's other tools. 
This is what I almost bought. Um, the Pro AR-15 and the pistol tool. Maybe I'll still look into those one day. So we're going to put this in the like-it pile because, you know, I'm into all the multi-tools, most of them anyway. Um, and I've heard good things about Real Avid. So we'll, we'll like it pile that guy. The second item in the advanced box is a rifle cleaning kit valued at $29.99. And I'm guessing this is it because this looks so much like the standard green nylon M16 cleaning kit that I grew up with as a young private. All the way from the days of being a PV1 back then, this looks like a grown up more advanced version of that. So let's take a look at what we've got. Um, this is the old kit I'm talking about, had the snaps and um, didn't have this cool stuff in it. It just unsnapped and you, all, you guys who are in for a while know what I mean, but it looks like some of the very same stuff, yep. Same old toothbrush, um, same bore brush. Oh, look at that. Hey, stay. Uh, your CLP bottle, whatever oil you want to choose. These are nice um, plastic picks and stuff, so you don't do damage to the inside, but you can still get all your carbon and tough stuff off. And then, yeah. These are these are the old handles that I remember, the rods, and well, they even screw together as annoyingly as the older ones did. And then if you didn't get this just right, this is your pull through handle. Yeah, so this looks like um, internally not too different than the old M16 cleaning kit. Um, it, yeah, it still screws together as annoyingly as the old one did. You got to find just the right rods that fit together just right. Um, you know, hope that the guy who was issued the kit before you didn't bend anything or screw up the threads there. And then put your patches in here. Looks like you got a little extension on there. Um, this looks like a 556-223 brush if I've ever seen one for a brush and then this will go in your chamber. So this does look like a modernized version of the old green nylon M16 cleaning kit. Um, <clears throat> Q-tips, cool for getting in those little places. Now, again, these, I didn't have these things issued in my kit, but all sorts of, you know, over time, guys would, would fill the kit with all sorts of stuff. And, you know, it was an issued item where you could buy your own. When we bought our own, it was anywhere from like 10 to $15 though, not 30. Now this is a fancier, cool nylon bag. Um, PALS, not Molly compatible, um, but it's got the straps so that you can put it on somewhere and I, I like it. I, it's cool, it's old school, but beside, by the way, I forgot you get a real avid sticker with the, the tool here. Um, I don't know if, if $30 needs to be spent on this particular kit. Um, that's the only thing. I love this kit because it's simple and it's effective and it has, you know, cleaned the barrels of, I don't know how many M16s, M4s, car 15s for, what, damn near 50 years now, maybe more. Um, but you don't need to spend, you know, unless you want this fancy pouch and even then maybe you can find a little cheaper. You don't need to spend $30 on it. It's still going in the like it pile though, because this, you know, this is an effective kit. Um, there are fancier ones on the market, but this is, this is all you need. And believe, <laughs> drill sergeants will tell you, um, anyone wearing a Smokey the Bear hat will tell you, this is all you need to keep an M16 clean out in the field. This is it. All the other fancy stuff, don't need it. If you're doing good gun maintenance, this is, this is it. Oh, God, I'm getting so many flashbacks. So, I'm not a fan of the price on here, but I am a fan of what comes in this kit. I definitely do like this pouch more than I like the, um, the old pouch. I'm on the pro bag now. The pro, sorry, the pro box. $99.99 a month with an MSRP of $208.40 this month. We've got the nine line apparel rifle bag, which is the reason this box is so huge. To move everything over really show this bag well. So, here's the 9-line apparel rifle bag. 
So it has shoulder straps that you can wear as a backpack. It also has a carry handle, very similar to the way that the, um, the BOV bag, that the, the new welcome bag is set up. You've got one deep pocket on the end over here. you got two actually on the end over there. On the outside, these pockets will nicely hold a magazine. Um, all the way up to, it looks like you could fit a 50 cal magazine in there for, if that's what you've got. But all sorts of gear, um, and it can be cinched down. Velcro and quick release closure, so it holds it nice and secure, I'm hoping. Put a name patch, Merrell patch, whatever you want over there, flag. Same kind of pouch. Uh, oh, it's all weather weatherized on the inside there, which is cool too. But no internal separation on this one. And then this, I'm guessing, matches this one. Yeah. So weatherized um, on the outside. Cool pockets there. And then, let's see. Yep. It's that rugged weatherized stuff over there. Relentlessly patriotic. A couple t-shirts by Nine Line Apparel. I don't really think I have any other stuff made by them though. Like none of their actual gear. So this will be interesting to see. Well, inside. Um, another zippered pouch. Compartment right here. Just soft shell separations. So, compartment here, compartment here, for whatever it is that you want to put, um, and then Velcro compartments more flat on the inside here. Of course, your pals webbing on the outside. Notice I didn't say Molly webbing right after that video. Now that I put that video up, people call me out if I slip up and say it's Molly webbing or anything like that. Yeah. Put the main area. We got handheld a minute just to really get a good view of everything in here. So you've got separations here that will hold two rifles very nicely. You can see the stock and barrel can, can tuck in here, and then it can get strapped down pretty securely. Padding, put a second one on there. Um, so you can basically carry rifle and all kinds of accessories with this bag. Um, you can even lay it down as a range bag there. It has like a lip on it, so that if you just wanna lay this down, um, I wouldn't say you could use it as a shooting mat, but I mean, if it's flattened out, why couldn't you use it as a shooting mat? I mean, if you just want to lay down on it, you don't have anything else out there. It's got enough padding in it. It's really padded. It's really like soft material in there. So two rifles comfortably in there, you know, you'd have to take off accessories and stuff like this. Um, but plenty of storage space to put all the accessories and everything like that. And then of course, oh, these are very well padded straps too. I mean, really nice padded straps. Double stitching all throughout, heavy gauge, nylon, none of the wimpy stuff. Um, lots of carrying options. So traveling with your rifles is a good way to go. And you know, the thing is, if you don't have rifles, I could see this being used in a lot of different ways to carry a lot of different gear too. Because of the padding, it'll keep stuff safe. Um, might be a little awkward shaped just for like a suitcase, but why couldn't you use it just as a suitcase? Um, you know, Pack your stuff flat, that's all. Um, but it's it's a good quality bag. I mean, it looks really well put together. Um, the nylon is, a, I mean, it's a really, it's not that soft, flimsy nylon that you get sometimes with those really weak budget bags. Like, you can feel it really well put together. If you just grab this. Oh, 
nope, I ripped it. Never mind. I was just talking about how high quality and how well put together it is. I ripped it. Um, I'll have to have Darren fix that for me. Um, well. Hmm. Now, of course, you probably won't be tugging on things and ripping it like that, but that's not supposed to happen. I really thought that it was stronger than that. I still like the shape of the bag and what it gives you, but this is going right in the map pile. Um, after seeing that, what if this does get caught up on something? What if you're taking it out into the wilderness and you're hunting or whatever and it gets caught on something and you give it a tug and it starts coming apart? Well then, way to go. All right. Well, yeah, it's a good thing last month was repair anything, isn't it? Looks like a good design. Looks like it might not be put together as well as I thought. So, awesome. Um, this bag just bought itself a trip to Mayville. Okay, well, that's the only item in the pro, um, in the pro box. 90 bucks, 89.99. Um, I guess I could kind of forgive him and say your rifle bag is not supposed to be as tough as, say, a rucksack or whatever, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to say if your rifle bag is something that you're taking back and forth to the range, that's great. This is not a range bag. It's a rifle bag. What if you are taking this out on a hunt? What if you are taking it in a survival situation? I just, I don't know. I don't want my nylon coming apart like that. I really wasn't tugging all that hard. I could have tugged this a lot harder and like, what if this whole thing would have ripped off? But I still like the shape, the shape and design of the bat. The last thing in the box, going into Pro Plus. That's what makes this the Pro Plus, $149.99 a month. MSRP value is $398.39. So remember, when we're looking at the values in these, we're building on everything else that was there for the whole month. We've got the Sniper Blade Works DMF Folder 1095 High Carbon. A full, I've never had a folder in 1095. I've had lots of fixed blades in 1095, but... So, this is nice. Now, Sniper Blade Works does make some incredible custom stuff. Like, they make some productions, but some of their knives go for just ridiculous amounts. So... It comes in this semi-rigid case, which is pretty cool looking. I, I think I'm gonna, ooh, ooh, I do like this. Wow. Again, 10, 1095 is not something I have ever seen on a folding knife before. Um, look at this, this. Is. There's still some oil on it, so it's going to be a little smudgy, but got a beautiful carbon fiber inlay right there. I'm not sure what this backspacer is, if it's G10 or it feels like G10. Um, I don't know if this whole thing is copper or like what. It doesn't, there's not a lot of information about it. I'd have to look it up online. Maybe something under this. Now, um, this is a knife of the month. Look at that. Perfect centering. Fit and finish on this is awesome. It looks beautiful. I don't think the whole frame would be copper because it's kind of a relatively soft metal, but maybe, maybe. Um, could be just coated or, or anodized or something, but look at the finish on the blade. All right, we gotta open this. Oh my God. Oh, the knife of the month is back. There have been some items I have not really liked uh, Knife of the Month-wise in the past two, three boxes, but this, wow. Sniper Blade Works makes a knife. Look at that. I mean, the finish on it alone is, is amazing, but look at the grind. Wow. Now, I have had some complaints um, about one certain knife not really fitting the theme of the box. It came in, um, and I want to be fair, the only thing that this fits re with the theme is that it's a sniper box and it's sniper blade works, but at least it fits the theme. You know, I don't want to be a total jerk and, and not, but man, this is, I mean, the difference between this and the other one, this night and day, this is, oh, this is comfortable. This has weight in your hand. I mean, this feels good. That is solid. Look at that lock up there. Nice and early, but it holds that blade. Uh, we gotta get some paper for this. All right. 
Nice. Nope, that wasn't so nice, but there we go. Yeah. This thing, oh, that blade is awesome. I like this knife so much. Let's do um, some cord. Let's just do a pull through. Gorgeous. Nice cut. Ethan is yelling about potatoes in the other room. This, this, oh, you've brought back all my faith in the knife of the month. Look at this gorgeous thing. And the centering isn't messed up at all, or, oh, it's little, you know, to be honest, a little, little difficult with the size to um, get it opened, just real easy with thumb studs. Not great leverage point, but then I realize it's, you know, kind of my hands are falling, my fingers are falling right on that lock bar, so if you keep them off, and get your thumb position just right, it's not too difficult to open, but you know, just using that right there helps a lot. Um, Sniper Blade Works makes some great stuff though. So yes, very nice way to end this battle box unboxing after the, the tear in the bag and stuff. Um, definitely in the I like it pile. What a cool knife. I don't know why I'm so fixated on the fact that it's 1095 carbon steel. Um, I just, I'm, I'm not used to it being on a folder. I'm used to seeing that listed as a fixed blade kind of steel, but that's um, that's pretty cool. Nice little design element there. Definitely interested in carrying this around. I mean, it's comfortable. Weight feels just right. This is what I want in a knife of the month. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Okay. Well, that ends this box. That's everything for June of 2018. So when we tallied up, um, the, the bag is meh. I still like the design of the bag. Uh, I just, I have doubts as to how well it's gonna hold up. I'll, I'll fix that little rip right there. I think the bag still has some merit and some potential. Um, the real Advent tool, the cleaning kit, the shooting block, good stuff I, I like. This guy right here, um, I don't have any don't like it. I just, I have a couple, you know, I, I don't know about the book. I haven't read the book. I got to get into the book. And this just still seems a lot of money for this little guy. And I don't know how well it works. I've, just, I've heard good things about Spartan Grease. And, uh, you know, all the Spartan products. I just haven't really used it. So we'll have to get into it. But what do you guys think? Would you have put things in different piles? Um, would you guys have rated stuff differently than I have? I don't know. We'll see. So, this knife of the month, though, that's that's a beauty. I love this. Um, it's gorgeous. So that's that. That does it for this month. Got a ton of videos to get online for you guys, though. Just like a whole bunch I've been working on. This is making me just want to go shoot. I want to go shoot now. All right, guys, so make sure you check the uh, video description for all the cool standard links, the Patreon page, please check that out. Think about signing up there and helping me bring more and better content to the YouTube world, um, or at least to you guys who appreciate it. Link to the Facebook page, best way to get in touch with me if you're ever looking to get in touch with me, and a lot of people are these days. Um, Facebook is the way to go. Uh, also, little random updates and things that go on there. Looking for questions for the next Q&A video, so you can send them to questionsfordocp at gmail.com. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. I do. You guys are all awesome. And I will be back again real soon.